Now, my setup is just a mess right now, okay? If you're like, why, Ilya? Well, I will let you know. I'm working on two cyber decks currently. One is the Kraken deck. Okay. Now, that, that's, that's a whole different thing, which I'll be talking about when I get the parts in. But, I also have my Quumzy K3. Shout out to Quumzy. So, this... Oh, uh, so this is the Quumzy K3. And this thing keeps falling off. Have to put it in the right direction or something. Anyway, so it's like a keyboard with the screen on it. So it doesn't have a computer built into it. You just plug it into your own computer. And then from there you could do all the stuff. You could boot it up. But the problem with it, it doesn't have a battery. It doesn't have an OS on it. It doesn't have a PC. Not even anything, really. It's literally just a keyboard connected to a screen. So, what I want to do is I want to get one of those hard shell cases. Uh, editor, Ilya. I'm responding on you to do that. And I want to install my Quimsy in it. So, this really is just going to consist of taking my Quimsy apart. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So, let's get started. Now, so even if you don't want to do what I'm doing, maybe you just want to install a cyber deck inside. Or the little Neomac, really is what it's called. I can see my face on here. It looks so goofy. Anyway, the Neomac is made by Carbon Computers. And this is going to be the computer we're installing in our cyber deck. So, what we're going to want to start off with is taking the keyboard off. So, this can be done with some prying tools. You know, just, just the normal. So, there's this gray part to the keyboard. And you can take the little turning nub off. And this is going to get us access to the actual keyboard itself. So, this is not installed in here at all. You may have to plunge a little at it. But, really, it just lifts up like that. Now... I have opened, my kit clumsy is taken apart already. I forgot to film it, that's why I'm making this video. But, you really just lift this up, take off the little side pieces right here, and unscrew them. There's a lot of screws. If something's not coming off willingly, it's because there's screws holding it down. I'll tell you that. So, we have this guy off. ASMR. No, okay. So, we could just toss this guy back on here for now. Because we are going to be using this keyboard still. It's just we're going to be using it somewhere else. So we also, you won't be seeing these cables because these are inside the back plate. But you do also want to disconnect the actual keyboard, which is normally plugged in with this little cable. So now if you notice, we could take a look at the back. And there is a bunch of screws, okay, down here, here, all over the place. The hidden ones are behind this guy right here, where the clumsy logo is. So you'll just have to pry that off. But really from there, it, it mostly just comes undone. So we have our screen. And this guy, because now that the keyboard is gone, we could just move it up. And then take this back piece off. And really what this is going to allow us to do is disassemble this. Because obviously the screen is very fragile. So over here, this is where the mechanism is going to be. And inside of there, it's just going to be a spring, which we could just pull out. And that is going to separate it from the actual thing itself. But... It is still connected to the actual board inside of here. So this is where you're going to need some more of your prying skills. And you need to make sure all the screws are taken off to BTW. And look at this. This huge case in here literally only has this mini chip. So I, I think that's, that's crazy to me. But from here, we could take out the ribbon cables. And here is your Quumzy, really. This is the brain of it. Not really a brain, because it doesn't do anything. But this has the different ports and all your stuff. And it actually has an NVMe drive in here, also. So, now that this has been taken out, you really have everything you need apart. We have our chip. We have our screen. And now we have this plastic area. So if you're following along with what I'm doing, what I'm going to be doing now is there's two different parts of this. And there's also this guy which fell out. This just holds in the keyboard in here. And is actually really heavy. So we could save this for a little later. But we have these pieces. Now sadly they are not two pieces. And there is metal on the back. So we're going to have to pry off this metal sheet, which I have not done yet. So I had the idea, oh, I should probably be doing a YouTube video. So let's do that next. Holy moly, okay, so. 
we got these separated. It's actually a pretty nice cut too. It's not too sharp. Probably will sand that down in my free time. But let me just show you how everything's gonna fit. So we have this piece right here where I have two options. So if you guys could help. W lashing. Yeah, it'll get it'll get better now that all that's done. Uh start soldering soon. On something else. So we have two options right now with the keyboard for our cyber deck. Now it comes with this thing, which sits in here, so it could be nice and even. And then we could just sit the actual keyboard on top like that, and it could connect. We have like a nice base for our keyboard. Or we could go ahead and carve out the inside of this and just take these panels off. And I feel like we could very easily build it into there. Okay, so actually, I'm also filming for my video coming out on this later. <clears throat> so, well, we're live if you're watching the video. So, later. So, I carved this bottom piece out. And as you can tell, this keyboard just fits glorious right there in the middle. So, another thing we have to do real quick is install the LEDs. Now, the LEDs were at the start. Just give me a minute, actually. I have to see where these things go. Okay, so I'm filming again now, guys. So, here is our actual keyboard. And we installed the cord so it can connect to the screen. This is going to slip right through here. And sit flush right there. And then we could get this guy for the last part. And snap it on. Start with one corner. Make your way around. Okay, and it looks just as good as before. Just now, it's like just the clumsy without the screen. So, I'd say it's looking pretty good. Let's move on to the screen now. I don't want to tape that because that is making me mad. But uh, we do have a few options with the screen. So we have this PCB, which is the screen PCB. Still here? Did I say you were gone? So we have this PCB right here, which just sits in the back of this. And it is very thick, if I say so myself. So, See, this just sits right there. Um, so we have a lot of room in here. But I mainly think I just want to install the screen on here. Install this guy in here. And install the NeoMac on the side of this, actually. Another thing, which I think is what I will do is I may chop off the side, but I don't really think that's necessary right now, so let's screw this guy in so everything fits. And then I think we should basically be good for the cyber deck for now. Kind of pulled at it last time, so. That just, just put my close. Luckily it does come off so easy too. But now we have just a few more things to do. Sick and... Oh! Oh my. How stressful. But it does work. It does work. So, our two halves to our cyber deck are ready. We have the folding back for the screen. And we have the keyboard. So, I guess we can see if this... Oh my gosh, bro. Leak in my face. <laughs> to YouTube admins. So, uh, I do need some tape first, though. Let's see, I have some double-sided tape right here, so it should work. should have to clean some of this stuff up. The screen, we basically took a clumsy and cut it in half. So we have the screen right here, which is going to be on the top part of the cyber deck. And the function to move it up and down still works. We have double, and you obviously just have it all the way up. So... Nice, nice, nice. I'll get everything working when I actually get the cyber deck case in. So there's actually a use for it. But I am glad I got that cleared up. I mean, that really is it. Our clumsy is looking amazing. Uh, a lot of those could have switched from the live stream because I live streamed this. But even though it looks like two, it is working. And it is great. Stay tuned for part two, which will probably be coming out in like two weeks, I'm thinking, if I'm lucky. But that is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. If you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. And I did get it working. I don't know if I showed that in the video. 
We're just getting random clips from my life. But I will see you guys next time. Check out Arc Labs for cool stuff. It's our Black Friday deals. I mean, we have stuff, all of this stuff on sale right now. We have like the Porta Pack H4M, normally four fifty five for two fifty. Got that's two hundred bucks off. I cannot explain how good these deals are. Go check us out now. See you guys next time. Bye.